school, Autumn Lewandowski is here to tell us about it. These kids are going to be hot, hot. <laughs> to school. Take a look at it. We're not the only ones here. Buffalo is one of many uh, across from Green Bay to Boston. Bangor, Maine is almost at the 80 degree mark. Take a look at Washington, D.C. at 94. A warm front is just to the north of us. And what we're going to continue to see is these uh, not only the heat, but the humidity really sticking with us through midweek. Our high today will be right near 86. The low is 69. That is a good deal above average. It was a warm beginning as kids were going off to the bus stop, getting back to school. It's a hot one at all the schools today, and tomorrow is going to be another one of those days. Mid 80s from Batavia to Dunkirk, 75 degrees is Lake Erie and Olean. One of the cooler spots, we had some Morning Valley fog across the southern tier, has been burning off over the last couple of hours, and what we're going to continue to uh, see for the afternoon is more clearing for the southern tier. We'll also have a few spotty areas of showers for the afternoon and potentially a rumble of thunder, but expect the heat and the humidity to continue. Notice these overnight lows are only getting into the 70s. Little uncomfortable, that's for sure. As we take a look at 7 Super Doppler, this is the one that's riding right along the northern edge of Lake Erie. It's going to take still another hour and a half to maybe even two hours to get towards Buffalo. Not holding together very well. There'll be a few spotty showers near downtown and then down to about Hamburg or so and then working inland. Otherwise, we are mainly dry for the afternoon. Taking a look a little bit wider now we've been talking about uh, Tropical Storm Gordon. As we go into the next 18 hours, this will be making landfall. And what we'll find is it even strengthening a little bit further, maybe to a category one as it makes landfall. The reason I'm talking about this right now is it's going to end up with this cold front. And as it pushes east, we'll eventually see this moisture in western New York. And we'll talk about when in just a second. Take a look at it hour by hour this afternoon. A few of these spotty showers popping up. The one that's through southern Ontario is this very light blip that you see towards 3 4 Warsaw. So it comes pretty quickly through. And then by 5 to 6 p.m., we really aren't dealing with anything else across western New York. So it's a mainly dry day, but it's a hot and a humid one. Widening out the view, now the warm front is well to the north of us on Wednesday. And it's not until Thursday that we eventually get the cold front to come through. Along a lake breeze boundary tomorrow afternoon, we'll get some scattered showers and thunderstorms to fire up. Temperatures, though, are going to be in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, and it's going to feel like we are in the mid to upper 90s across the Niagara frontier. And again, with some of these scattered showers uh, and thunderstorms for the afternoon and evening, mainly south and east of Buffalo. On Thursday, that's when the front passes by. That's going to bring temperatures to near 80 degrees. We'll find the cooler weather to come in on Friday. Uh, our Saturday is looking drier Sunday and Monday. That is when the remnants of Gordon will be wrapped up in that frontal system and bring us some rain across the area. Okay, Sunday for that uh Bill's game looking pretty fall-like, actually. You know, Not here at home, obviously, but.